Buffalo, New York is a city known for its food, primarily beef on whack and buffalo wings. Basically, not vegan food. Over time, Buffalo has changed from a booming city with the Erie Canal to a dead city full of crime to this new period of growth and development. People are urbanizing once again, and along with that has come a rise in new eateries, some of which are vegan. So what is it like really being vegan in Buffalo? In this video, I will share my personal experience with being vegan in Buffalo and the Buffalo suburbs for the past four years. From grocery shopping to eating out, hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a good foundation to transitioning from Buffalo wings to vegan things. Living sustainably as a vegan requires knowing what is and isn't vegan based on a food label. Some grocery stores will be easier to find vegan alternatives, produce, and bulk goods than others. In the city, the best grocery store for vegan shopping is Lexington Co-op. In the first tier suburbs, in order of my personal favorability, is Wegmans, Whole Foods, Aldi, and Trader Joe's. Lexington Co-op. Lexington Co-op is a cooperative grocery store owned by the local people. There are two locations on Elmwood and Kensington. All to-go and prepared foods are clearly labeled with a V, or VG, vegan and vegetarian respectively. And produce is easily accessible along with bulk goods. Lexington encourages the use of reusable bags and bringing your own containers for the bulk goods section. The hot bar also has vegan options daily as well as grab and goes. Wegmans. Wegmans is a very popular grocery store mainly populating U.S. states in the Northeast. In Buffalo, there are multiple locations on the outer city and throughout the suburbs. The atmosphere is health-centered, scaled like an average grocery store, but as any Wegmans vegan or non-vegan shopper knows, once you shop at Wegmans, it is difficult to go back to shopping anywhere else. The prices are very affordable, the hot bar is clearly labeled, not as yummy as Lexington's though. Organic produce is plentiful, and non-organic produce, and their brand food like pasta or sauce is often tastier and more affordable than popular name brand alternatives. The best aspects are the designated vegan section, with house brands tofu, seitan, and more, and house brand labels. On every product under the Wegmans brand are vegan, lactose-free, and heart-healthy labels. Wegmans is my favorite suburban grocery store. Whole Foods, Aldi, and Trader Joe's. I categorize these three stores together because from my experience, they're more specific item shopping. So instead of getting a whole list done at one store, I usually go to each of these specific stores for one or two items rather than a full grocery list. Whole Foods is the wannabe Wegmans for people who have never been to a Wegmans. It's generally more expensive, but has more vegan baked goods and more ready-to-eat meals and sides than Wegmans. The produce section is diverse, but not particularly abundant, and you can tell a lot of the food is imported. Aldi's is best for beans, vegan alternatives, like fake meats, and prepackaged vegan snacks and goods. As for Trader Joe's, I never really shop there, but it's generally more health-oriented. How to shop. Overall, vegan shopping tends to be more label reading than you may be used to. On the one side, that may seem inconvenient, but health-wise, it is better to know what's in your food, example, having pronunciable ingredients, than to not. In this video, I'm not going into what ingredients are or are not vegan in this video, but remember to look at your labels and do your research. Chapter 2 Probably the most difficult aspect of me being vegan is eating out. Most restaurants in Buffalo serve at least one vegan option labeled with a V or not labeled. That being said, these options are not always the tastiest, so here are my favorite full vegan, somewhat vegan, or vegan inclusive places to go in in Buffalo. All vegan. In the Buffalo area, there is Fried Baby Donut, Sunshine Vegan Eatery, and Big Mood, formerly known as Root and Bloom. Fry Baby Donut is an all vegan donut shop on Elmwood that also sells vegan pizzas. I did a whole video reviewing their donuts, and the link to that is in the cards and description. Super yummy, highly recommend. Sunshine Vegan Eats is the first black owned all vegan restaurant in Buffalo. They do vegan twists on hearty deliciousness such as buffalo chicken sandwiches, shrimp tacos, and more. They also sell this huge vegan milkshake which makes my heart flutter. The environment is comforting and homely. 
I also have a video visiting and reviewing the food here, which will be in the cards and description below as well. Big Mood is in Elmwood Village and serves generally vegan burgers and other junk food type meals. The whole restaurant concept at Big Mood has changed from Root and Bloom and tradition to Big Mood, and it doesn't really require fit my health triangle ideas, which I go more into my video that's coming out soon of why I'm vegan. The new menu is not my favorite, and because of that, I would not really recommend Big Mood for my personal tastes and experience. It doesn't really cover the environment, health factors of why I'm vegan, so it's kind of not that worth it, especially when what they serve isn't my favorite. And from that, I can't really recommend Big Mood as a restaurant if I personally don't really like it. If you want to see a review from when I got a vegan milkshake from Big Mood, I'll have a link to that also in the description below. Buffalo's pure vegan list of restaurants is unfortunately quite small currently, but the list of restaurants that have vegan options and delicious ones is actually quite extensive. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favorites that I've gone through so far. Of course, this isn't including every restaurant, so just take this as you will, and I'm sure there's many more options around. So, as for the somewhat vegan and vegan options with vegan labels, restaurants that I recommend are Betty's, Mississippi Muds, Pizza Plant, Sato Ramen, and Cantina 62. And as for places to go for dessert, there's Wheatberry Bake Shop, Anderson's Sometimes for vegan ice cream, and Sweet Jenny's Very Sometimes. I am very frustrated with Sweet Jenny's, just to let you know for now. Because I only have two vegan options for ice cream, and they're not always good. Like, I just want vanilla sometimes. I don't want all these obscure flavors. That's a rant for another day. But Sweet Jenny's and Anderson's, sometimes, if you're lucky, just buy ice cream from the grocery store. is probably a better option. For more vegan ease in both shopping and eating out, here are some apps that I recommend and I personally use. App number one is Happy Cow. It is the OG vegan app. It shows vegan and vegan optional restaurants based on your location. There's user reviews from those who have it, but the cons of this app is that you do have to pay to use it. And it's not as quickly updated as the second app that I'm sharing with you today. Overall, I would say this is more populated than the other app, so it's good for if you're going to a place a big city, but for a smaller town, it may not be as useful, especially because they're very strict about vegan, if it's vegan and if it's not. This app reviews products and restaurants based on your location and generally country. It's kind of less easy to pinpoint exactly where you are. It's kind of weird. Um, the problems and cons with this app is it's not as highly covered in the Buffalo area and other areas, but the pros are it's more user-friendly and you can add a new restaurant much easier than you can on Happy Cow, and with each review, you are able to raise money and donate to various organizations that help reduce animal cruelty and other organizations alike. Also, the app is free! Being vegan in Buffalo is 100% possible. Though there are setbacks, hopefully this video gave you a clear overview of how to get started with veganism in Buffalo or how to continue going. If you have any questions about veganism or how to be vegan in Buffalo, please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them. I've been vegan for the past four years, like I said, and it definitely was a challenge at the beginning, but it has gotten so much easier with time and practice and knowledge. If you want to see more vegan travel and other sorts of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out my website, stephaniefrobel.com, for more blogs, content, and creative work that I'm doing. Also, be sure to listen to my podcast, WTF is Up With Gen Z, where we have unique conversations with everyday people from Generation Z accomplishing amazing things. So, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. I hate talking like that yummy girl. She's not yummy.